Hey guys, welcome back to Cell Reviews, and what we're taking a look at is G Creations, their Shuriken Combiner, Dinobot Combiner, SRK02 Growl. If you like what you see, of course, buy yours, tfsource.com, link in the description. They've got some really cool stuff going on with their new credit system. I believe now it's for every 1,000 points you get, it's $10 in store credit, rather than just having points they use for certain things and stuff like that, so actual cash in your pocket for shopping there. Really cool. But anyway, taking a look at him, what you get? Rap. I believe this one's Snarl. Not sure. Not a Dinobot expert by any means, but... <clears throat> comes with his foot, two swords, as well as two blasters. Just like Thunderous, he comes with a lot of stuff. These are big, beefy dinos by far. The biggest in scale of the classic size dinos. Of course, you've got, um, is it Gigapower? Advanced Toys are doing pure masterpiece size ones, so those are a bit bigger, but for classics, these are huge. This guy's coming in at seven and a half inches tall. All right, this backpack, when you're fiddling around with them, it's not loose or anything like that, but since you want to grip them in the back, it does tend to go up and down. So sometimes you'll see it like this, but know that, get these out of the way, it can actually rest on its back. So it's one thing that I got asked about when I shot some photos and I had to reduce that photos because I jacked them up. So don't jack your photos up, don't have them displayed wrong, backpack goes down like that. Taking a look at them around, of course, traditional, lots of tail kibble on the back. I really love the spikes throughout, even on the G1 toy. It just looks good, it looks clean, I really enjoy it. In terms of posability, pretty standard. Um, heads on the ball joint, shoulders are on ball joints, but they also have these parts that ratchet outward as well to give them some more extension. Bicep swivel, single jointed biceps, but good 45 degrees. It's clean. Now the waist does have swivel, but there's also a lock for it to lock it in place. So if you put that down, 360 swivel, lock it, no swivel. Makes sense. Okay, the legs are where it gets a little bit wonky because mine, especially in the knee area, pretty loose. Don't like it. Don't know how to tighten it up. It sucks. So, Full thigh articulation in terms of swing, back and forth, side to side. Full thigh set, thigh set, full thigh swivel. A good past 45 degree knee bend, which is awesome. All right, but see how it wants to go backwards? Reason being, this part isn't solid. Is there a way to show you guys? Yeah. You've got this gappy piece right there as the connector. It basically makes up the thigh, or not the thigh, the calf. So that's the inside of the calf, and he's naturally back heavy. I mean, look at all that. It's not die cast or anything like that, but that's a lot of fairly solid plastic. All right, you get this, um, get this heel back in place. And that's not even loose or anything, that heel point, but he's just so imbalanced, you know. Once you get him, get him right, he stays in place. He's not one to where you have to worry about posing him or displaying him. All of a sudden, he's going to topple, topple over. But while you're trying to get him into that, it should be a lot easier than it is. Let's just put it like that. I've seen this common complaint on like TFW and stuff like that, so it's a QC issue. Not going to call it anything less. And it sucks because it looks amazing. I love the aesthetic of these guys. Of course, he does come with the two swords. Really nice big swords, too. He's seven and a half inches. So, without even taking out a ruler, that has to be about five in and up of itself, you know? And these are five millimeter pegs. Okay, so you've got two rifle type blasters right there. They come with pegs on each side. They are symmetrical and identical in every way, so you don't have to worry about which one's the right side, which one's the left side. They do peg into either his shoulders or his, uh, I don't know if you necessarily want to call them his heels, but more his calf with the dinosaur legs. 
right there. So let's get these, see if we can't get it pegged in. The problem with this is the hole sets in deep. There's like two layers. And when you extend the arm out, the hole that it actually pegs into goes further away. So unless you've got it in really, really deep and just got that right, I have bad luck with pegging this in. Now, just like Thunderous, the foot does come apart. That's a bit bigger, more deep. That I can peg in a lot more easily. I don't know if this is just the one that's meant to peg in and those aren't. Um, it doesn't seem like it's any bigger, but never know. Oops. And while I do that, mess everything up. The trick is to get it so the connector piece sticks out. And then from there, since it's in place, you can go from there. But it is, it's finicky, unfortunately. You know, if these were just easier, this and Thunderous both, easily my favorite Dinobots. But it's like little stuff like that that just keeps them from being there. And it sucks because aesthetically they're so, so good. Okay. So we got those pegged in. Let's get this pegged into the thigh. And I know my hands are in front of the camera. Sorry. Put some swords in his hand. See what I mean? Just the splits right there. It's, it's something else. You're going to see how pretty it is once we get it there. But it's getting it there that's like, come on. Okay, there we go. Point those up a bit. Now, even from there, looks great, but let's get a upward view. And remember, this guy is seven inches tall. It's mean, it's beefy, but damn, look at all the work that it took. That was, I think we're at about eight minutes or so into this video and that right there probably took about two or three just from head count that's crazy but anyway there's a robot mode let's go ahead and look at the other modes taking a look at his all mode here get some of the weapons out of the way i think this is where it really shines it's probably my favorite mode out of all three really impressive i had a friend of mine josh lang from kumasau actually who said he didn't really like the clear i am really enjoy that G1 clear look. Fact is, it's well done. I think maybe if it looked a little bit more cheap or something like that, you know, I wouldn't be as keen on it, but it came out well. Just to take a closer bow, the head sculpt. Like I said, it looks really good, and you can see the gold through and everything like that. It would be nice, maybe if they had like an alternate or something like that, but it looks like these halves are pinned on, so I don't know how that easy that'd be to change out if you wanted to. And as you just saw, his mouth, or jaw, does have posability there. Really cool. Now let's get them all weaponed up. And I love it. I love that these are pretty much war machines rather than the standard badass, but more melee style that you see with Dinobots in general, or iterations of them. But there we go. I mean, that's a big, wide, chunky beast. And again, I'm not a dinosaur expert. I don't know what this is supposed to be. In my head, I'm like Stegosaurus, but somebody's going to be like, actually, it was the blah, 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 that originated in blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't claim to be an expert on dinosaurs at all. You guys let me know, as a matter of fact. But 
the overall hunch down look really works a lot better for the weapons and stuff like that. I'm actually going to raise the camera a bit here. Kind of with his head pointing down and the weapons pointing up. It just looks really, really cool. I dig it. Let's take a look at the leg mode. Alright, taking a look at the leg mode here, it measures at about, from my perspective, just under 8 inches tall. I don't know what you guys are seeing through the LCD, but yeah, just under 8 inches, huge. A couple of inches taller makes sense. Classics Optimus Prime is around 6 inches, 6 and a quarter, so I could see that being an inch or two taller, most definitely. But getting that out of the way, in terms of posability, we already went over this with Thunderous, but take a look ratcheting side movement no actually not it's the up and down that ratchets this is on a big ball joint but take a look and of course it doesn't have the whole thing or like an A stance to support it but it's got a good amount of posability there that's exciting it doesn't really need to go as far that way considering it's going to be his right leg so really cool now in terms of back and forth you've got that the feet with that introverted movement and actually for my pictures it was nice because I didn't even have to use a stand there we go check it out that's really really cool and I mean it just plain looks nice too overall a really impressive leg mode now the only thing that I don't like this is the foot from Thunderous they both come with a similar piece that connects it to the foot the one that came with my growl does not fit it is not sized correctly and it doesn't peg in so I actually had to take this piece from thunderous and switch them out it looks different um, one's hollow on the inside one's not you know aesthetically there are some differences to it like I said it's just what it is I don't I just don't know why they changed that particular piece up when the feet are exactly the same when it comes to just their inside and how things are supposed to fit as well as the legs themselves clamping in the same. I don't know. I haven't seen this complaint on TFW or anything like that so it might just be mine. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and email them see if I can get a replacement or what the deal is because I wouldn't even know where to start sanding this thing. I don't know what about it does not fit or what in particular is too big. But anyway. This has been G Creations SRK02 Growl. I look forward to the next, which is their Grimlock. That's going to be a huge release. I looked at that thing, it's even taller than the Masterpiece Grimlock. So that's going to be crazy, and it looks really good too. This has been another Kumasawa review. Let us know what you think in the comments. TFSource.com, that's your place to buy. And Kumasawa.com, that's where you're going to go for the full pictorial review, as well as a write up too. See you next review.